In China, the crane symbolizes gracefulness and nobility. Among all Shaolin styles, the crane is said to be the most refined. As with all of the animal methods, the creation of the form started with the observation of animal behavior and survival in battle. According to historians, the crane style has originated from How To's Five Animal Play and ultimately translated into human fighting forms by the works of the Kung Fu masters in the western region of China. The Shaolin fighting crane is based on the old techniques of crane and longhand boxing. Those who are taught in this polished but dangerous style maintain longer distance from the opponent and rely on steady balance and quick attacks. The crane is a defensive style. The apprentice must be skilled in observing the enemy's actions and emotions before they happen. The hands often form the beak of the crane. While balancing on one leg, the crane stylist utilizes three limbs for a very effective fighting form. Besides the beak technique, the apprentice also uses the closed fist, the knuckles, and the bent wrist for striking. The footwork incorporates low leaning or arrow stances, calf stance, and circling steps. As a part of the defense, the fighting crane style uses the leg for blocking and delivers lightning fast, high, and powerful sidekicks. Now let's have the Shaolin fighting crane form, the first eight step. You're going to bring your hands up. The hands is beside you. You're going to bring your hands up right in front of you tight, about an inch between the fingers. The fingers in the bottom is tight, the, the thumbs. And you bring him up, the whole shoulder and elbow gets a lot of power to bring him up. One more time. The stance is simple stance, 45 the angle is straight from the left, and the right is 45 the angle. Remember the angles. Body weight's in the middle. Comes up. Breathe in. Remember how. Push it down. One more time. Comes in. And you're gonna come in, you do the step. Step, first always with the step, that's the most important. Still straight, body weight 80%, 20%, comes down with the heel. Then your hands circle in front of you, forming a beak, the crane beak, the hands comes up, and strike. One more time, all together, in, down, step, then you do the same thing to the other side, step, stance important, remember the body weight is 80%, 20% there, swings and comes down under, under, after that you put the body weights forward and the hands comes up, the crane wings opens, then the body weights forward now, about 80% now. You see the shifting, the 80% of, so that's mean you have a most of the amount of the weights in one leg. The hands comes in front of you, and step back, and swing up. Very important to come up. Let me show you from the other angle. The coming up situation. You're stepping back, and your hands is circle in front of you, and comes up. One more time. Comes up. Okay, once we get this down, let me get you over again so you're learning one by one. You're going to bring him in, push him down, and then step. Now you have a little bit more power in there. Step. Then remember, body weight forward comes, comes up tight. Then fall forward, straight. Straight forward fall. The hands comes above you to block. This is the position where it blocks. Or right there, the beak there in for, important to be tight and the body weight is forward, about 70% of the body weight. The back leg is straight and you circle. You're focusing straight because your state of your mind is you want to strike right to the temple, down, right in front of you. The angle of the elbow is very important. Let me show you from sideways how it looks. Striking, you see the angle turns into the temp, right to the temple area, comes up and start. Okay, now we have this done. The next step is, you have the strike. I want you to step back, which was a leaning stance. Step back with the left, 45 the angle. And you have a calf stance, we learned this already. That's a sweeping motion and striking motion. 
sweeping striking. Right there, sweep strike. See that this angle. You hit the strike. You step. Sweeping right in front of you. The block and strikes. Big body weight, 80%, 20%. Remember that. Very important. Now, let's back to the horizontal position. Right to the front. Step back, 45 angle. You're going forward, remember. And striking. Right after that, bring your foot back. 45 angle, remember. And other side cap stance. Now, the right hand has a sweeping motion. And the left big striking. Let me show you how it looks. Comes out, then goes. One, two, three, four. Very important to use in front of you the hand to block right in front of you. And a power generate right to the end of the fingers. Keep them tight. Very important. Good. Right after that, I want you to step back with your foot, with your left foot. Step forward. And you can have a horse stance sideways. You're going to look straight. Right from the stance. One more time. One, two. Right from there. Step. The hands open, the wings, they became the wings of the crane to block until that the other hands goes under and blocks. You have shift on the body. Remember, you can see out when you're striking. It's very important. Make a fist. You know how to form it. Make a fist. Then step back. How are we going to step back on distance? It's very important. The circle comes out and step back with distance 45 angle with the right. The body weight's in the back now. The hands stay there. Now we're going to step forward. You're going to have the same horse stance to the opposite side, and your hands circling around. Now you change the palms. Fist to the left, and the palm is right in front of you, parallel with your chest. Comes down, make a fist power. Let me show you that from maybe an other side. So you're going to do it this way. Here comes up, and from the other side, it looks like this. Right in front of you, remember, you're pushing down and tight. It's a superior block. Right in front of you. Okay. We have strike. It will come in. Steps. One, two, three, four. Remember, you're coming in there. Step back. One. Then step back and go forward. Two. Remember the stance. Remember the stance. Push him out. Good one. This is the first eight step. Now let me show you how the fighting goes with it. Shaol is recognizable, but is not famous about the beauty, the beauty of the form. It's famous about the technique. It's famous about how effective it is. So let me show you how this works. Good. Good. The first movement. I want very slow. Step out there with foot. Uh, maybe from the other side, it's going to be very easy to see. Punch with that hand straight. The crane blocks it. Remember the stance. Go between the legs. You push this hand down. And this is swings up. Right to the chin. Let's do it one more time. Come out. One more time. One. It blocks it, remember, by the wrist. Comes under, is tight, and strikes him. Let's turn around. It's how it works. How is the hand goes? Okay, go. Remember the stance. Comes out. Holding the wrist. Striking. That's a very unique stance because watch the footwork with it. It goes in, leans, and a crane is changing quick. Pull the praise in and just strikes them. Boom. Very important. Good. With the heels of the wrist. Very good. The next step is is a defense stance. When your hands comes in front of you, and a person walks up to you, walk up, careful, hop, it comes and blocks them. One more time, do it slow, up, remember, you're actually pulling that person into the fighting situation. You don't start the fight, but once it gets in, you bring it into it. One more time, go, good, get to the other side, go, you lean, lean back a little, let your knee come forward and hold it tight. That's a wing of the crane holding it. Good. One more time. Leaning back with it. You see I have a little step. You remember in the form when I was forward, I stepped back and came up. 
that's the same thing when a person come, he thinks you're there, but not. That's why he will lose the balance. You will step back, and then you come out, and this is yours. Now, move back a little. Right after you get him, come. Right after you get him, it's very painful when it goes to the groin or goes to the sternum. What's going to happen is you're coming up and come down real forcefully. The hands comes up and strikes right to the temple. Boom! That's a very dangerous punch. You want to practice, be very careful with it. Okay? Move back a little. Let's do it. Comes out and comes striking right to the head. It's open all the way. It's already hurt from the bottom and strikes it. Very important. Now, right after this, you will step back. What I want you to do is punch one time with that hand and blocks. Let me show this from the other side. Go. Remember the stance, remember the hand. Very important. And you're blocking right versus the elbow so you can push the body weights out. Good. One more time. Do it very slow. When it comes, blocks out. Remember, that person, the other person was finished. When a punch comes, if he would, he would, if you just strike him, if he has a chance to strike, but well, I don't think so, strike to the head. Shaolin was ensuring himself. He strikes, he knows when the punch comes, steps out of it real easy and blocks it. Then you do the same thing. Punch with the other hand, come to the other side. Very good. And lean to it. One more time. Just right here from this punch. Stay right there. Go do it. Boom. Yeah, that's okay. Go, boom, and push it. Wait, mm -hmm. push it, just go. Good, now go, boom. Very important, the hands technique. How to do it. Very good. Maybe let's see the other punch from the other side. Let's see that. Punch with that hand. With that hand, say. And right in front of you, remember, why is this needed? Because you're going to block. If anything goes wrong, you miss, you still have your hand there. To block right in front of you. Very good. 